Oh, hi. Welcome. Uh, you're here just in time because I'm going to talk a little bit about buying a bidet, uh, more importantly buying an entry level bidet because you are uh, a first time bidet buyer, maybe even a first time bidet user and I'm going to hold your hand through that process because it could be confusing and scary. Um, it's exciting though and I'm happy for you and I'm happy to be part of your purchasing. Uh, I'm going to tell you about two bidets, two that I own here in my townhouse, but why don't I start with the Toto C100. Alright, so let me tell you about the Toto C100. Uh, this is a bidet made by the Toto company. Uh, this is retails at a little over $300. Uh, now. I'm gonna lean on my toilet, and as I do that, you're going to hear the bidet is pre-misting the toilet. So right now, it is generating a mist within, and that mist is coating the walls of your toilet bowl so that any soil uh, that is purged does not stick to the walls of the toilet. There's three reasons, I think, why most people get bidets. The first reason is cleanliness. It's a very functional thing to have. Uh, the second reason is the luxury aspect. You know, some bidets, you know, they just make you feel as if you're in your own personal spa. Uh, the third reason, which uh, my wife swears by, is that the bidet spray actually aids the process of relieving oneself. That spray uh, hits uh, the organs that are associated with bowel movement and it generates a response that aids the process. Um, it's my wife says that, I don't subscribe to that thought, but that's what she repeats over and over again. This bidet has a, a heated seat. Uh, there's three different levels of heating. As soon as you sit down, you'll notice the seat is warm. It is a full comfort bidet. It has the spray button for the rear and it has a spray button for the soft rear, which is two varying pressures. It has oscillation for each. If you double tap the button, the bidet spray will oscillate back and forth, wiping the soiled area. The bidet has a front spray for the feminine thing uh, and that oscillates as well. Within each of those there's five levels of pressure and additionally there's a positioning button where you could position where you want your wand to be precisely. Uh, you know every human body and you know this every human body is different. There is something known as the taint ratio where the, some taints are wider and actually you need to have a different positioning in order to hit the spot that you want to hit. Uh, there's three different temperatures of heat for the seat, there's three different temperatures of heat for the spray, and there's three different temperatures of heat for the blower. It's never too hot. Uh, it's always warm, but not too hot. It's not going to hurt you. Another great feature of this bidet is it has a sensor. So right now it's doing the pre-mist, but this bidet will not spray if the sensor notices that you are not sitting on the bidet. You're not gonna mess up your bathroom. You're not gonna spray water everywhere. The first time I ever used a bidet, and I swear to God, I sprayed water all over the hotel room. This was in South Korea. I was trying to figure out how to use the bidet. I didn't know, I was a dumb American. This is back in 2013. I sprayed water everywhere. It was very funny. Uh, after the fact. It was not funny in the moment. It was frightening. Now, is this bidet for everyone? No. I think the price point is probably a little bit more than some people are comfortable with. Functionally, this bidet is rock solid. 100. I would give this bidet a 100 for functionality. Uh, I have never been disappointed after a bowel movement. This is the Bonowitz Choice bidet. Um, only downside, of course, you need to plug it in. 
So if your electric plug is not close to your toilet, you're gonna have a problem. As you can see with mine, I'm, I got quite a ways that I go with the plug. I have an extension cord and I had to make it as clean as I could, but I had to do a little bit of wiring in order to get this bidet to work. You've seen the ads on Facebook for the Tushy. Um, that is a trendy bidet. Urban Outfitters probably sells it. It's not a bidet that serious bidet users buy. It's a bidet that trendy people buy because uh, they think that, and, and they think that maybe if they buy a bidet, people are, will like to come to their house and use their bathroom. And that's kind of a socializing thing. It's not for serious bathroom going. Don't buy the Tushy bidet. That's rule number one. I'm not saying to buy this one. This is over $300, but don't buy the Tushy. Just don't, it's embar you'll embarrass yourself. I have a friend also who bought a Lux, uh, maybe a, it was like a $40 bidet. He said it broke after a few weeks. Is that what you want? Do you want to say, oh, I don't really use toilet paper anymore. I only use a bidet. Uh, and then you go to use your bidet and it doesn't spray and you have no toilet paper. What do you do? What do you do? You're fucked. Okay, so don't buy cheap bidets for the sake of buying a bidet because you like the idea of having a bidet. It is not a purchase to be made lightly. That is why I'm making this video. And the Brondell S101EW. Uh, my toilet seat up here broke, so I went to Lowe's to buy a new toilet seat. I figured I'd just get any old toilet seat. Uh, but I saw this one this bidet for a hundred dollars, no electricity required. And I stared at it for probably about 10 minutes. I did some quick Googling, saw the reviews were pretty good. And I decided to pull the trigger uh, because I wanted a secondary bidet for moments when I could not use the downstairs bathroom for whatever reason. This is not an electric bidet, which is my main appeal to this bidet actually uh, because I don't have a plug close by. I have a plug over here but I would have to go around the door with the wiring or I would have to install new wiring in the wall. I did not want to do that. Um, so this bidet actually, the fact that it was not electric was a plus. This bidet does not have the seat warmer because it's not electric. It does not have the pre-mist. It does not have uh, the blow dryer, it does not have an oscillating wand, but what it does have is a highly functional spray, a very strong, surprisingly strong spray, and uh, it does what it's supposed to do. It gets you where you need to be when you use a bidet. You may notice that when I twist this knob, all of that spray that comes out that is actually part of the wand cleaning system. And once you twist the knob past a certain point, then that spray stops. It's part of the, it's a part of hygiene and it's cool that it does that. And then when the wand comes out, it just starts spraying based on water pressure. It's, it's like a, a very ornate water gun. Twist the knob backwards, the cleaning, and then the rear knob. And it sprays good, it sprays, Ah, functionality, it's good. This will do in a pinch. I'm not gonna use this as my main bidet. You, the viewer, as someone just getting into bidets who wants a bidet today, you could go to Lowe's, you could buy this bidet, have a bidet right now. I'm gonna have to fix this seat. As you can see, I'm wet from bidet spray. That's okay, that's a good, it's a video and it's a good demo to show you how powerful these bidets are. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope, let me know in the comments uh, what, you're gonna, what you're getting or what you did get. Uh, let me know any experiences with bidets I might've missed. Uh, tell your funny bidet stories, like and subscribe, share the video with your friends. Uh, thank you for everyone who subscribed. We're over 500 subscribers, halfway to monetization. Um, we're doing it, you know? All of our dreams are coming true. 
one spray at a time.